Do you know what's annoying? I have to approach knights down a really narrow corridor. But do you know what's even more annoying? Watch as the infinitely spawn crawlers. Yuck. Hello and welcome, I'm RC and this is Spartan Ops Legendary Solo No Deaths. This is episode 1, chapter 5, Core on the map The Cauldron, which is one of the two maps custom made for Spartan Ops. That was a very brief look at my loadout, it's pretty much standard, DMR, Plasm Pistol. Coming up against both enemy classes today, the Covenant and the Prometheans. Both of them optimally are susceptible to the plasma pistol and DMR headshot combo kind of thing. The EMP or noob combo, as it was called, all the way back in Halo 2 days. Little box of infinite ammo there, you might as well run past and pick up some extra DMR. Do pick a human weapon, I prefer the DMR, I think it's got better range, feels slightly more powerful. Got that single shot of power rather than three separate shots that have to combine to do the same amount of damage total. So I just prefer it. Much better zoom, three times zoom rather than two times zoom with the battle rifle. Do pick a human weapon because you do get infinite ammo for those. Uh, you might be able to stick with a carbine if you really want it. There's a couple of crates around but it won't be very useful. Then I've got a auto sentry this time. can go with the regen like I often do as well. But I just thought I wanted a bit more extra firepower because there's a lot of enemies packed very closely. That's the big thing with this mission, that's the big challenge. You don't really get much room to just fight enemies sort of one on one, they're all together. This is pretty much the signature moment, going up this little path to either side, converging. You just have to shoot through the gaps, come up to the top. Peek around corners, <laughs> let your shields recharge. I believe this is one of the missions they showed pre-release, in fact. As well as the very first one, the one in the quarry. So it's all about cleanup. As with most Spartan Ops missions, it's all about getting the enemies dead. Here's one of the other ammo drops, which also assault rifle as well, but on legendary, I uh, wouldn't recommend it. Now, unlike the previous one, Sacred, where you're up against a whole bunch of knights with just what you brought in with, basically, and maybe a couple of things, you couldn't have any plasma pistols on the map. There's actually loads of plasma pistols around, not only from the enemies you kill, but also from various crates, and there's also some Fjord guns you can pick up. So, no excuses for running out of ammo on this one. Now these guys come up to this very aggressively really. Surprisingly so for Covenant. Don't quite know how. Push me back. Not a good day. Actually, ran out of a pleasant pistol because I wasn't paying enough attention. I was still on sacred mode, thinking I've got no ammo and I'd have to make do. Nah, there's loads around. In fact, there's one just in this box. You can select it right, right in the center of the box, in between two weapons look very similar. Overcharge is usually the way to go, but in a pinch, just a few peppers will help you. If you don't have the time, if you need to sort of get fire on them immediately. Now as you come up here, that turret is your biggest threat. If you throw a grenade and it lands near him, it'll jump off. Doesn't need to be too accurate, just sort of his close proximity. Then you'll be able to get a headshot on him. 
You can't actually jetpack over this gate behind me. You do actually have to come through it. Again, using the distraction ability of the auto sentry there. Biggest problem about this level is just massive enemies just all together. Again, by the way, if you haven't got the Crimson Alone achievement, this is one of the levels you could get it on, using the strategies I'm showing you. Just there, I jumped off the side of the bridge. Come down here, so you're not sort of all bottled up in one area, trying to kill these enemies that are also focused on your position. Give yourself a bit more space to spread out. You can go all the way over to the left there if you want, and then sort of attack the area from a different angle. Or you can come down here in this little red highlighted basement, I guess, or something. Let them come to you. Pretty aggressive on this mission overall. Now, after this, you've got a little button to activate. Then the shields will go down and some crawlers will come in. Quite a lot of them. You're going to have to take them out pretty quickly because even more crawlers will come from some watchers through the two tunnels over there. In the background. I like to come down here, drop down, get low. This is actually pretty dangerous. You might want to back up even more. Go for the watchers straight away. And there's also two with binary rifles, two crawlers. Those need to die really quickly. You don't want them running around and you not knowing where they are. But those are the only binary rifle crawlers as far as I know. The rest are just suppressors and bolt shots. Fortunately. Again, like the Covenant, the Prometheans are very aggressive on this level as well. At least until you get to this final area. Prometheans there will pretty much stay back. Which then gets problematic as you're trying to approach the, through these very narrow corridors. And again, these are new, fresh respawns. So that's why you want to advance as quickly as you can. This is a very simple one on co-op because you can just send two people up there straight away. Blast if initial spawns and then kill the watchers straight away. But on your own, you don't have as much firepower, you don't have as much options. You have to take it a bit more cautiously. You have to work your way through, get yourself out of the fire first, and then you have to look for the watchers. They always go to the same place, which are fortunately in your view. But if they're going to the other way, then it's a bit more tricky. There we go. Those are the two main watchers, I believe. Shut them down, Crimson. And then there's a couple of knights that spawn in. This one's got a binary rifle. Picked up that Furod gun earlier. Whoops. Still watches around. Oh dear, and he's popping more. Can actually pop multiple watches, can knights in Spartan Ups. So be very careful of that. There's still also plenty of plasma pistols around, even if you forget completely about picking up the Fiora gun. Just decided it felt a little bit more comfortable with this many knights. Although they do have a rather annoying tendency to teleport once you've laid one shot on them. Then at mid teleport they're completely invincible. Ah, uh, see, did it again. And again. And a third time. Ah, uh, not my day, huh? So this one you can do very fast in co-op. Uh, under five minutes you should be able to. Because you just got so much firepower with four of you. And they are very concentrated. Take down elite so quick with combined fire just absolutely cut through all the little enemies. Just getting a little bit more ammo. 
completely exhausted my Fuhrer gun here. Trying to look for something else. And again, once I've been aggressive to start with, taking out some of his buddies, he's actually followed me all the way there. Now, at the end of this, there's another button I've got to press. And then more knights will spawn in. This final knight spawn, if you're on co-op, you can actually get in behind the spawns and assassinate them very quickly. Just watch out for the crawlers that spawn in very slightly ahead of them. You don't want to get them mauling you as you're trying to assassinate the knights. Just not going to work. Again, on my own, I'm going to have to be more cautious. Also in co-op, you'll probably want at least one person to go with regen. And since you'll probably be all quite close together because of very narrow pathways, you should be able to provide sort of team medic pretty easily. So here are the initial bunch of crawlers that spawn first. I have to take out a few of them. After you do, if I can get a few more kills, show you that the knights will spawn in the same place. There they are, two of them. And I'm going to combo them this time. So it sounds like the popping watches. The edge is not good for me. Or is that three? I think it's looking like three. Hmm. No matter. They shall die all the same. biggest thing is just trying to get close to them in cover because this air is quite exposed particularly. Oops. Don't often see them do that move so it's always a surprise when they actually do. So that's it. That's all of them dead. Just have to wait around a little bit now. Pelican will come in and then there's another button you press on this magical box that teleports a scientist or something like that in some newfangled form of teleportation that we've never seen before which makes a whole lot of sense never mind there you go press the button game over episode one chapter five the core done legendary solo no deaths and that's the whole of episode one no deaths now as well Uh, my time, 12.19, as you can see, no deaths, 92 kills. So you'll have a link to the previous chapter, Sacred, on the left, a link to the next chapter, chapter 1 of episode 2 on the right, and a link to the playlist in the middle-ish. I'm RC, my main channel is RCBGS, and you've been watching my bonus channel, Master RC. So I'll see you next time.